Our last stop on the show is the education sector. This time, the Office of Education Quality Assurance, OEQA, embarked on monitoring of compliance status in some private schools in the state following the registration and validation exercise, which commenced in July of this year. Baptist Academy Obanikuru is the first school visited by officials of the State Office of Education Quality Assurance to carry out validation exercise for private schools. The Director General of the Office of State Education Quality Assurance leads the team for the exercise. She meets with the school principal of Baptist Academy and explains the process. We're here today uh, because we started the exercise in July and we officially you know, ended it uh, the 30th of September and we drew up some, a list of some schools that are still yet to validate you know, their information. We notice that this school is still yet to validate. So... <laughs> because uh, a group of people came, they brought funds for us to fill, which we did. Okay, so we... we did, but as, after then, we did not actually receive anything. A group came even from federal level, we have from states, Yes, they so brought here, they took to all, even our sister school, I feel the form. We noticed that this school is yet to embark and we wanted to sensitize and assist you in being able to validate uh, your, your school. Um, and remember that it's actually per site. Uh, so even though you have, I believe, a boys school and a girls school, each one will be done uh, separately. I think the validation exercise is a good one for all schools that have been approved in Lagos State. Apart from the fact that it's going to bring all of us together, we give the ministry the opportunity to have first hand information about the schools under their jurisdictions and administration. I think all schools need to do this so that um, we can be on the same page. The next stop is Baptist Girls Academy and the same exercise is carried out. I want to say it's a welcome development. We are happy that the Lagos State government remember their schools and that visit will go down in our history. We appreciate it and we want such visits to continue All right, so yeah. that we can have quality education in Lagos State. For the Director General Office of Education Quality Assurance, the exercise has helped the state government to keep adequate record of schools in Lagos and ensure quality standard of teaching and learning. Mr. Governor has really tasked the agency, the Office of Education and Quality Assurance, uh, within the Ministry of Education to ensure that there's quality uh, all around when it comes to our schools. And um, in recent past, we've seen that there is a correlation uh, between um, investigative issues and uh, compliance of schools. As a result of that, we thought it was really important not just to have data, updated um, contact information data on our schools, but to have uh, a different layer of evaluation at the school level. Um, so we embarked in July, we embarked on uh, an automation uh, project where we went around schools and we gave them uh, the opportunity to, um, to update pertinent information concerning their schools in both schools that have been approved within the uh, state and schools that are yet to be approved. Um, so this current exercise has started in July and the initial deadline I believe was August. Um, based on the uh, feedback we got, we decided to then extend it to September 30th as at recent. Um, so as a result of that, the main reason why we're at the schools today, we realized that certain schools um, have not validated and we've gone around with our tablets and our smartphones uh, to ensure that they go about that exercise and they're able to do so successfully today. The exercise was rounded off at Ade Adekbite Nosrian Primary School, also in Obanikoro.